we have the uh, the ranch conversion and the guys are over there right now. They're installing the windows this particular project We have Anderson windows They were they have a black exterior and black interior finish right from the factory The front windows have grills and the sides in the rear don't have grills So we're gonna go over there. We're gonna take a look the guys are installing them They should be done in the middle of the day. It's the whole house full of windows. Let's go over there and I'll show you what it looks like Okay, guys, so we just pulled up to that ranch remodel. The guys are putting the windows in, so we're going to get out and go take a look around. Okay, so again, this home has the black exterior windows with the black pre-finished interior. The front windows have a 6 over 6 grill, and you can see those grills in the windows. It's a really nice system. And uh, this house is going to be a hardy board, arctic white, planking and on the lower area where the you see the brick that's going to get stuccoed over with a faded gray type of color and uh, this place is really going to look amazing when it's when it's completed so anyway we're moving through this quickly we just started putting the windows in today the delivery came yesterday so let's walk around we'll show you the windows okay so you can see the installation here now we put the window into the well and prior to installing the window you can see on the lower sill, there is a window wrap, and the window wrap goes around the windows now. It's for more energy efficient application. So what we're doing is we're installing a six inch window wrap on the base. That's the very first install that we do on the, with the wrap. Then we install the window, nail the window, and then once the flanges all the way around the window are nailed, then we install a four inch wrap over that, which seals the window nicely protecting it from any type of weather penetration uh, through where the nail holes, where the nails are going through the hole. So it's a, something that we've been doing for the last three or four years, but you can see how efficient the installation is. Okay, so now on the side of the house, we have the bathroom window and the back guest room bed uh, window. That's a 3046 egress window. That's a 2032 bathroom tempered window. And uh, they're just making their way around. They started on the lower level. They're working their way around. And let's go in the back. We'll take a look. Okay, so now you can see from this angle, the house. Now, again, this whole lower level is going to get stucco application all the way around. We have a sliding door going in there. And uh, this deck is going to get refinished with a, with a Trex. And, uh, again, just making their way around. This is a kitchen window here. It's a slider right over the sink. And um, they're right up to that that's installation right now. Okay, so here you can see the tie bar application on the bottom sill. And this is how we install it. We wrap the bottom of the window with that six inch, just like that window is over there. And uh, we set it up, we do, the, we do the, the main one across the base, fold it, install it, and then we wrap that corner with, the, uh, with an additional piece to seal off that corner. Other hole. I'll show you the flange right here. We have a window, so you can see the you can see the holes. They're set up about every three inches or so. So we go, we nail every other every other hole, and uh, and then once those those holes are filled with the nails, then what we'll do is we'll cover it with a four-inch wrap. Come on, guys, we'll go in the house and I'll show you look uh, around because we just installed the stairs yesterday, so now we can make our way through the house quickly. So I'll show you what it looks like. So as you look at the entry here, all the brick, again, this is, from this corner over is gonna be a decorative stone. We're gonna wrap this whole section with a decorative stone, a gray, Calgary gray, dry stack stone. And we're gonna wrap all this over here. You can see we already installed our limestone treads. That is for the, um, the column, uh, so we can install the column. I have my masons here to do that. And then the masons are gonna come here and install new limestone treads to match the column. And then once that's done, we're gonna cap that brick off with a limestone tread all the way around the house and then stucco cut, color it all the way around. And then from that point up, from the cap up is gonna be the hardy board. So let's go take a look around in the house. Okay, so you can see our doors and windows stockpiled over there. And we have all the Anderson windows, the boxes we cut open earlier. And this is the staircase that we just installed yesterday. The company came in and took care of this. This was measured just about a week ago, and we had them install it right away. 
and it's perfect timing because we had the windows and we were able to lift the windows up. But again, as you look around here, you can see how big this location is. We have a fireplace over here. This is the dining and uh, living room. Kitchen's all in that corner there. That's the kitchen window that they're putting in. Uh, as you walk through here, we have a piano room, an office, and uh, there's going to be a guest uh, the standard bedroom bathroom for the for the first floor, and then we have a guest room right over here. And let's take a look. We'll go around the side here. Okay, so as we make our way around this pile. You can see the kitchen layout. We have marked in red the cabinetry. This is about 20 feet, 22 feet of cabinetry all the way across the wall here. And as you make your way through here, you can see we have the cooktop marked, we have the oven, refrigerator, and then we have the island, which is covered up right now. It's approximately eight feet, an eight foot island with a microwave and a, and a wine cooler in there. Here's the staircase down to the basement. And let's go upstairs. We'll take a look upstairs at the layout. All right, so we're going up the stairs here, and it turns, and once we get to the top, we have the laundry straight ahead. As you can see, we placed all the windows all the way around the top floor here, and if you turn around and look down, you can see the open well down to the first floor. So as soon as we get up here, we have the washer, we have the dryer, here's the bedroom, uh, one of the three bedrooms on the top floor here. There's a, also a guest room on the first floor We have a walk-in closet. We have a full bedroom two large windows uh, And then that this bed this bedroom here and that bedroom share a Jack and Jill bathroom and As we walk into the bathroom, we're gonna have a tub over here a vanity and then we're gonna have a little linen closet another vanity and then a private toilet and that's shared with this bathroom over here and that uh, this bedroom rather has a, another walk-in closet over there all full-size windows now the windows in the front have the grills we can take a look at these up close and you can see they're they're all pre-finished there's no painting on these windows and uh, they got the grills embedded in the glass so these windows are finished, so you don't have to worry about them. the extension jams are on them already, and uh, it's ready for it's ready for the sheetrock to be installed on top of the window. We don't have to build this out in any way or paint it. Okay, as we make our way down the hall, again we're back in the in the foyer, and we have a large closet here on top of the, on top of the stairs. Over here we have a beautiful arch window going over the front door with the grills between the glass. Okay, so we stepped into the master bedroom and this is a six foot opening, double door leading into the master bedroom. Very large area. Just to give you an idea, it's the whole half of the house here, uh, which is below us is the dining room and the living room. So you can get an idea of the size. So if you were looking in here from the archway uh, from the doorway looking in and immediately if you look up we have a nice cathedral ceiling tray ceiling and uh, we have the bath suite over there the walk-in closet over there and as we go into the bedroom we turn around you can see again the large windows the whole side of the house over there but right through here we have a pocket door that slides into the wall the door slides into the wall and as we enter the master bathroom suite, we're going to have a soap tub under an arch top window. We have a very large corner shower. We have a double vanity, one vanity there, one vanity over there. We also have a private toilet right here. And between the bathroom and the closet, the master closet is this second pocket door. And as you look in there, this is, you're going to notice that this is a very large walk-in closet. It's probably the size of the other bedrooms. And it's going to be a, a large island in the middle. Makeup mirror, makeup stand or uh, corner right over in this area here. And, uh, you know, turn around as, you, as you're in the, looking in. Look at the size of this walk-in closet. 
right, so as you notice again that the front windows have the grills on them and all the side windows and the rear windows are, this is the rear windows right here, there's no grills. So this is the look that they were looking, that the homeowners were looking for. And it's a nice look, you can do it, you can, this is not an issue, you can do the front grills or you can do the whole house in grills. So they opted to do the front and then have the no grills over the sides and the rear. Anyway, so I'm just gonna show you, we have the tie bar here. And this is the six inch for the base of the window. And as you can see, we cut a piece from length to length. And now they're just installing it. You can see they, they fit half of it onto the end of the two by six. And right now we're just wrapping that window, pushing it into the corners there. And it's very sticky. So you gotta remove the backing like we're doing right now. And now he's just going to take his knife, score the edges, and then fold, fold that over nicely. And now the, the bottom will provide a flange for the outside. And you can see how nice this installation is going to be. And now the window, he, he's, he's setting up all the windows right now. And uh, the next team is following, installing the window. And then another team is following with nailing and wrapping the outside of the window with more Thai